But we're concerned, we ask that now that you would prepare your hearts and minds oh, yeah. to go to God in prayer. Amen. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man oh, yeah. does indeed avail much. Oh, yeah. We're praying that you, that are listening to me, that you would call your friends and loved ones. People are in trouble. Yes, sir. And we're praying that God will send deliverance their oh, way. Yeah. That he would send a breakthrough their way. Do I have a witness that you got somebody that you know that needs the help of God? I don't know about you, but I need his help. I need his strength. I need his comfort. Hallelujah. And I know that God can and God will. And if you see in your body, I'm a living witness that if you can have it, God can heal. There is nothing too hard for God. Never y'all have to say there's nothing that's too hard for God. our trust and confidence in him. I'm going to ask Elder Michael Eaton that if he would come at this time to offer prayer for you that are listening uh, to us by through a live stream, Facebook, and those that are here in the sanctuary of the Lord. We ask that you make your request known. We ask that you pray with him as he began to come to God uh, to perform the throne of grace on our behalf. Let's say amen for him amen. as he comes, Elder Michael Eaton. Amen. Father, we are grateful and thankful for another privilege and another opportunity yes. that thou has yes. afforded us that we the people of God can come and bow down before you and thank you for deliverance. Amen. Thank you that you brought us out. Yes. Thank you that you paid the full price that we could enjoy the righteous freedom. Thank you for life, for health, for strength. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for victory over sin. Thank you, God, that you defeated the enemy. Father, as we come again today, yes, you brought us out. When we were down, God, when we were yet your enemy, you brought us out. Much more now, being a child of God, we can come boldly to the throne of your grace. And Father, thank you for delivering. Thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for your salvation. As we come again, God, today, we will not be silent. But thank you, Lord, for the washing. Thank you for forgiving. Thank you for renewing. Thank you for purging. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. You look beyond our faults. Yes, Lord. And you revive us again. You restore us again. Even now, God, today. Yes, we come again, God. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, if you've done anything, if our actions, Lord, have been glorified, thee, God, forgive us again. In the name of Jesus, for we come in today, say, Lord, we need your help. We need your guidance. We need your direction. In the name of Jesus, it's me again, God, with a problem I cannot solve. Yes, Lord, there are things, my Lord, coming up in my life. They are bigger than me. But looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, yes, Lord, and this too shall pass. For we have the victory in the name of Jesus. Satan, God rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And here we stand again, no matter what the problem is, God. Yes, Lord, I need deliverance. I need an answer. I need your direction. I need your God to guide us in the name of Jesus. In this trying time, Satan trying to shift us. Oh, God, I refuse to go back. I refuse to hold my feet. Yes, Lord, I'm coming again. Yes, Lord, today. I will not let shame bind me. Oh, God, today. I'm crying out today. Oh, I need today. I'm crying out. God, I want to make it, God. I'm crying out, God. I want to enjoy all the privilege, God, all of your salvation in the name of Jesus. Despite, God, what it looks like, I'm coming to you. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Yes, Lord. Somebody's facing God. Difficult situation. In the home. In my marriage. In my finance. With my children. Yes, Lord. I need your help. Break the yoke today. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Turn it around. God. Yes, Lord. And I ask you God again. Renew again. Restore again. Yes, Lord. And we establish. Again, in the name of Jesus, the power.
Yes, Lord, we need the promise of God. Fill us again. Anoint us again with that refreshing again. Yes, Lord, that the people might stand and the people again, God, will be your standard. And the people again, God, will be your ambassador. And the people again, God, will be your light, will be that salt. In the name of Jesus, here we stand again. Oh, God, he might cry today. He might plead today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My coming is not in vain. My plan is not in vain. I thank you, even God, today. Victory. In the name of Jesus, our mothers today, Mother Boone today, Mother Parker today, every name that's written on the planet today, somebody God, on the bird God, I'm giving up God, hallelujah, but thanks be to God that given us the victory, for we are more than conquerors. Jesus, because of the blood today. Hallelujah. The blood still works. Yes, Lord, today. And I'm looking yet unto you. Oh, God, today. Thank you for delivering. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm here again rejoicing, God, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of God. Everyone, God, that's sitting the prayer one, the anointing, that the anointing flow all over again. Yes, Lord. Have thine own way. Have thine own way. Have thine own way. Have thine own way. Have thine own way, God. In the name of Jesus, the unspoken desire, unspoken request. Yes, Lord. The end of the day, God. Not somebody, someone in a bondage, God. But the breakthrough, and the breakthrough, I just can't give up now, God. Huh? Hallelujah. I remember where you brought me from. You brought me out of darkness when I was slain to sin. When I couldn't do any better, God. When I was victimized by the enemy, you brought me out. You reached way down the moment, and you brought me out of evil weeds, God. And now, God, today, here we are.
we are coming back together. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. The bereaved families. Let somebody again, God. The answer is not in me, but help somebody to look up, oh God, and find that hope and find that answer in the name of Jesus. We're crying, Lord, help us again. Drop to lifeline. Somebody's drifting, even now, today, in our very midst. Somebody needs your help, but feel God today has caused somebody to withdraw. Feel God today. Has caused somebody not to cry out today. Oh, God today. This is the day that the Lord has made. And you told him in your word, when we draw nigh unto you, you said you would draw nigh unto us. Oh, my God, I came. I will not go back the same as I came in, but I came in seeking. And the word said, he that seek shall find. He that knock the door shall be open. Yes, Lord, I need the door open. You said I am the way. Yes, Lord, touch again. Touch again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody need to join bells to ring again. Mmm, God. Suppressed on the inside. Oh, God, today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. Yes, Lord. And deliver today. And deliver today. And deliver today. And deliver today. Break through. Break through. Break through. In the name of Jesus, here we are again. Help us again as we come, oh God, today. Hear our cry. In the name of Jesus, we stand in need today. Oh my God, today, in need of your help. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for being that answer. Thank you for being that way. Hear the name of Jesus. And we praise you, my Father. Again, God, this anointed leader. The enemy is trying, God. Oh, God, to overtake it. But bind the enemy. Bind that devil. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Send up another word, God. In the name of Jesus. The refreshing of the latter rain. In these last and evil days. To come back to things, God. That's trying to overtake us. Anoint your leader. In the name of Thank you today. Thank you for the answer. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us again to press, oh God. Help us again not to retreat, but help us to press on, God. No matter what it looks like, help us to press on in the name of Jesus. Press toward the mark. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for being saved. Thank you for writing our name in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even now. Even now. Even now. Because of that work that you have done for us in Calvary, we have the victory over sin. We have the victory over everything that the enemy God tried to throw at us. Yes, Lord, for we have the victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you today. And let everyone, oh God, as they come in today, let them walk out delivered. Walk out in freedom. Walk out in hope. Walk out in joy. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we praise you for it. We praise you for all things today. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
and because you are doing these things for us, your name is greatly to be praised for the glory and the honor it is thine. This is the prayer that we offer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Say thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the Lord for all that He has done. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person does indeed avail much. And we're trusting and believing that God will hear and answer your prayer. Amen. In such a time as this, God has called us for such a time as this. We are all people which are called by my name, which just humble themselves and pray and see my face. And not only that, turn. Y'all have to say turn. Turn from the wicked ways. Heal from heaven, I will forgive their sin yes, and I will heal their land. Yes, Thank you, Elder Eden. At this time, I'm going to ask you to go to Lassiter and see what come and offer the strip of reading for this morning. Yes, Let's say amen for Messiah. Amen. 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 Our scripture today will be coming from the book of Hebrews, yes. chapter 4, starting at the 10th verse. Yes. Thus says the Lord. Uh -huh. For anyone who enters God's rest, also rest from their work mm -hmm. just as God did from his work let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their examples of disobedience for the word of God is alive and active sharper than a double-edged sword yes. it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit joint and marrow it judges the thoughts and attitude of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom he must give account. Mm -hmm. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who yes. has ascended into heaven, yes. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. Yes, sir. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to emphasize with our weakness, uh -huh. but we have one who has been tempted in every way, yes, sir. just as we are, yet he did not sin. Yes, sir. So let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence uh -huh. so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. Yes, sir. The word of God for the people of God. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 But we thank God for the scripture reading and for the prayer. Amen. This day, the Lord has blessed us to come together. It is a day of rejoicing. He has given us the victory. How many of y'all got the victory today? Yes, sir. And as we talked about last week, we changed our posture. When we come into the house of the Lord, we come yes. with our hands lifted up. Yes, Just lift up those hands in the sanctuary. Oh, he's worthy of our prayers. Yes, lift up the hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. As we bless him and as we give him glory. Come on, he's worthy. Oh, let's take a praise call. Time out the station, I'll give him a picture. He's done so much for me that I cannot tell it all. Thank you. 
Uh, we can do it that way, and also we can do it through the traditional method of going across the table. Uh, it does take M plus M to equals M. Yeah. Members plus money equals ministry. Yes, and I appreciate those things, and, and we thank God for the tithe and offering we are receiving. And I wanted to say this. I don't really do a whole lot of talking about it, not on the air. Uh, don't get your offering on the air. I think I think you need to dedicate that time to the word of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But tithing and offering is really God's management program uh -huh. for mankind. And it's not about money. Can y'all help me say it's not about money? It's not about money. And the enemy is so subtle. He makes people think that. Don't do that. They're taking your money. All the church wants is money. But tithing teaches us. Can y'all help me say tithing teaches us? Number one, accountability. It teaches us discipline. It teaches us honesty. It teaches us diligence. It teaches us faithfulness. And it teaches us trustworthiness. And look at somebody and say, you thought it was all about money. But if you be faithful over a few things, hallelujah, the Bible said, I will make you ruler over many. So it's God's management system for us, for mankind. It teaches us how to manage other areas in our lives. So when you're faithful to that, without having to be beat and brought it and then threatened to go to hell behind it, you do learn how to manage your life. You learn how to be accountable because you do this faithfully. And nobody's beating you up about it. Y'all don't hear me this morning. I feel like preaching right now, but I'm not going to take off on that. So I, and my point is, I thank God for those faithful times. Thank God for those faithful givers that do it because I don't see them. And I tell you right now, I got some daughters that y'all don't see every day. Y'all don't see, don't come, they can't come to church every week. But I guess you what, you better not mess with me. Better let you know something, don't mess with them. Because <laughs> we have been poured into their lives. Amen. We're teaching them how to better manage their lives. And I think that's so desperately needed in this last day. Yes, when folks' lives are out of control. Yes. And they need some type of guidance and some type of direction. And God has provided that through a system of management. Yes. That's what we were talking about that during our Tuesday night session. Well, we appreciate all that you're giving and all that you're supporting down through these weeks and months. And we encourage you to keep on doing that. And the Lord will bless you real good. We're certainly glad for all of our ministering brothers and sisters that are eating. And thank God for all of the missionaries and these mothers that are here on today. Thank God for Brother Ted. Amen. That's helping us ministry-wise on the music ministry. Amen. So, <laughs> it's a blessing. Amen. Keep on being faithful. Faithfulness carries a reward. Yes, sir. Nothing replaces that. Amen. Be right, thou faithful right. unto that. Right. And the Bible says, I will give you a crown of life. Right. I thank God for my wife. She has been sticking right by my side. Yes, sir. And yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. This is <laughs> I do I do get her off the seat every night, and she's not an idol first lady. She's engaged in ministry. Uh -huh. She helps me and be and helps her doing the prayer and many other aspects which behind the scene you don't see. Uh -huh. so I just want to give a few moments this morning, give my time just to say hi to, amen. amen. This is my Nubian princess. I thank God for her. Amen. <laughs> She's coming. First lady on the call. Let's say where is she coming. Praise the Lord, everybody. We thank you, praise God for Jesus on today. We thank God for victory over sin and sinning. We praise God for being God in our life. One day I was lost, and he came all the way from heaven now and found little old me. That's his sweet name. Save me. Sanctified. He gave me a new way of talking, a new way of walking. I got a new way of thinking, y'all. The places that I used to go, I know where they are, but I don't want to go there no more. That's the type God we serve. We thank and praise God for Jesus. He's been real good to us. Amen. Thank God for the church. Hallelujah. Thank God for the freedom to praise him today. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this church here on the corner. Where is the word, church? You talk about the word? Our leader gives us the word. Not his opinion, but the word of God. Amen. Freedom is in the house. Deliverance is here. If you ride it back, feel free to stop back. Amen. And come on in 
and let the Lord bless you real, real good. We thank God today for all things. We thank God for victory in our lives. Do you know God is a keeper? Yes, yes. We yet still here. Yes, yes. We're not fighting fires today. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not swimming for our lives. Ducking alligators and snakes and whatever else of God's creature. God is so good. God that we serve is so good. And we thank him. And we praise the Lord today. We thank God for him hearing our cry in times like these. In times like these, we get praying. We get praying. Murdering spirit in our neighborhood, y'all. We're praying God to cast the fear out. Some of us are afraid to go to school. Afraid to go to church. Afraid to go around the corner. You never know if you're going to make it home. But you know what? The God we serve give us strength. Give us courage on today. Praise God to yet live in this society. We thank God for Jesus. The Lord has been so good. He's a wonder in our lives. He's truly a wonder. Hallelujah. Way down in our souls. And we thank and praise God. I thank God for all that the Lord has done yes, for sir. me. Praise God. One day I needed him. Uh -huh. I really, really needed him. And guess what, y'all? Uh -huh. He helped me. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. He helped me. He delivered me. He delivered my poor soul. And we thank him on his name. We bless his sweet name. I believe in holiness. I believe in living right. I ain't trying to brag, but you know what? If you want to do it, God is a keeper. Yes, he is. Ask him. He hasn't heard your voice lately. Ask him. He needs to hear from you. He needs to hear your voice. We get praying. We get calling your name. But if you personally ask him, he'll come to your rescue. We thank God for all things and everything. Desire you pray for us on today. Not to be great and grand. Just want to be saved. Want to draw others. Want my light to shine wherever I go, wherever I be. Want this view to see Jesus in my life. Amen. Because it's real. God is real. Praise God. If you don't hear from me again, I want you to know that I love the Lord. That I'm saved. Praise God. I believe in the miracle working power of the Lord. If you don't do it, it won't get done. God is a healer. And guess what, y'all? I live by it. The blood of Jesus still works. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Yes, sir. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Amen, y'all. She helps me look good. And I appreciate her and thank her for her support, her loyal support and dedication to the church. She really loved the church, and I never will forget the statement. We used to do broadcasting back in the late 70s, early, early 80s, and we had some segments that we would let people testify, and we gotta be careful about that now, but folk get up and say a whole bunch of other things that shouldn't really be aired across the airways. And she used to get up there and say, my name is Irma, Sister Irma Carter Gold. And I said, what in the world are we dealing with here? She said, I'm God's child, I'm God's daughter, so that's my last name, Irma Carter Gold. I said, all right now, I'm going to have to adopt that because we do belong to God. How many of y'all know you belong to God? My whole body belongs to God. Amen and thank God for each of you for celebrating our 50th, 50th year of this year, of course, and our anniversary. And we're also celebrating our, celebrating our 22nd year in ministry here at the church. Amen, somebody. Amen. said something that have changed some lives. Oh, yeah. And that's really what we're all about, about some life-changing experiences. Yeah. And if you would adhere to the word of the Lord, I guarantee you, it will change your life. Yeah. Because when you change your mind, you change your life. Yeah. We're believing God that he will do that right now. Bow your heads. We're going to go directly with the remaining moments to the word of the Lord. But we ask that you would humble yourself before the Lord and come before his throne with a humble and a contrite spirit. As we pray, and Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you now for all things that's been said and done. And God, you know our heart, you know our desire, you know what it is that we desire to do for you. And God, we ask that you would help us today. Deliver us from ourselves. Don't let us get emotionally attached to anybody and to anything. 
But God, you deliver us. Hallelujah. You set us free. And you said, who he who the Son set free is free indeed. And God, we're walking in our deliverance. We're walking in our freedom. But yet we need your help each and every day. We need your help. We need your divine guidance. Lead and guide us along the way. God, we'll thank you for so doing. Open our understanding. Give us revelation knowledge. And as you do that, God, we be so humble and thankful to give your name to praise. These and all the blessings we add in Jesus' name and for his sake. All the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Help us with this real quickly. I need the old. I need thee. do this in and by myself uh -huh. but with God's help help us say with God's help, with God's help. you can do anything yeah. and I put him I put him to charge this morning to help me even doing this uh -huh. session and I want to share with you get turned to the book of Luke and I try to do this uh, often as I possible I do read a lot I try to anyway uh, Paul admonishes his son Timothy in the gospel so he said until I come give attendance to reading and, um, to exhortation and to doctrine and that's sometimes we get a little lazy we get a little slack we don't want to read we want to sleep we want to look at tv we want to play on our phone but i challenge each and every one of you that some of that facebook time and some of that instagram time give attendance to reading paul admonishes his son in the gospel in first timothy the fourth chapter verse 13 that till he come 
whenever he was on his way trying to get back to wherever Timothy was, you keep on reading, you keep on studying. Make yourself a student of the word of the Lord. And because reading is fundamental. Y'all have to say reading, reading. is fundamental. It's fundamental. And uh, it's basic and, and, and it helps us to understand. That's why it's so important even in our school system that the children learn how to read. Right. Then they can learn how to understand and how to properly put things in their proper order. Can y'all say amen? amen? And we must study, as the Bible says, to show ourselves approved unto God, a yeah. workman that needeth not to be ashamed that we might rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. And I, as I'm sharing with you today, the 17th chapter, I spoke to you a few days ago about the spirit of this age and how to discern the spirit of this age. Yes, sir. And, and how we need to reconnect our spirits to God's spirit. Amen. And I mentioned that the problem that many of us face is that oftentimes we do not realize that it is indeed a spirit that we are dealing with. And sometimes folk can rub you the wrong way. I don't know how many of y'all have been rubbed the wrong way. They can get on your last nerve, your vagus nerve, as they call it, and, and they have a and they have a way that calls you to start acting a certain kind of way. Is that what the children say now? I feel how I'm acting a certain kind of way. But if we would just step back and evaluate what exactly we are dealing with. We can save ourselves from a whole lot of repenting. Help me say, stay in the right spirit. Stay in the right spirit. And while reading, and my reading this morning and last night, that when reading the Bible, there are some events that really set a precedence into how and what will eventually transpire, what will eventually come to pass. Mm -hmm. And Jesus dealing with his disciples, notice that on one occasion that they themselves were not aware of the spirit they were dealing with. Even though they had walked closely with him, they were there with him daily, watching him perform miracles, watching him uh, give sight to the blind, to see his teaching in the synagogues. But tell somebody, don't allow, don't allow the disruption to become a distraction. Because the devil will set you up. And if you're not careful of his devices, in the book of St. Luke, and I just want you to turn there real quickly. I know this is not my main point on today, but it helps me for my argument with how I'm going to share with you on today. Uh -huh. right. But in the book of St. Luke, the 59th chapter, verses 51 through 56, yes, sir. Jesus is rejected in Samaria. That's right. He knows that his time here on earth was getting short, and he set his face toward Jerusalem. That's right. And he and his disciples entered into a village of the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. But they did not receive him very well. Mm -hmm. The Samaritans said, what are you stopping through here for? We don't even really get along with you all that well. That's right. So what are you stopping here for? You're on your way to Jerusalem. Why don't you keep on stepping? Mm -hmm. And when James and John, the Bible says, saw this, they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire uh -huh. to come down from heaven? And I paraphrase, I paraphrase and burn these unregenerate, this disrespectful, and these rascals up. Mm -hmm. I did say that. Amen. But Lord, would you want us to call down fire? Because they disrespect. Nobody likes to be disrespected. And Lord, I can, we can call down fire and we can barbecue them. What they're not going to do is be disrespectful. I'm, can can y'all go work with me this morning? But, they're not, but notice, notice that this is good. This is good and saved John. This is melancholy John. This is John that had the audacity to lay on another man's breast. Talking about Jesus. He was there with him all the time. But he had gotten into a, another spirit. They call him, Jesus called him the sons of Oranges. The sons of thunder. They had another side to them. They were good as long as things were going well, but right. sometimes the, the enemy, there is a spirit that will access you right. if you're not careful. Right. With your saved, sanctified, tongue speaking, a uh, Holy Ghost filled self. Right. There was a spirit that if you are not careful, will access you. And it had accessed them, and he got in his feelings, and he wanted to destroy some people. And I tell you this, some of y'all want some people to be destroyed. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. 
You may not admit it, but when they disrespect you or treat you or make you feel a certain kind of way, you will probably not be so uh, resistant to the Lord really doing something to them just as an act of vengeance or, 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 or as we say, getting back at them. But notice what Jesus said. But watch what he says in verse 55. He says, ye know not what manner of spirit you are. And these are his disciples. But I talked about the spirits last week. We talked about those bad spirits. But sometimes we can get in another. Spirit. Y'all with this? Yes, sir. But look at his argument. James and John had a legitimate argument. Let me, let me tell you about the precedents that have been set. Because we sometimes would use these things against folk that really don't treat us correctly. But before I get too far along, help me say, get out of your feelings. Get out of your feelings. That's what I'm talking about today. We got to learn how to get out of our negative feelings. Because I don't care how saved you are. You can get some negative feelings, especially if you're being talked about. Jesus says, ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of, for the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. This is James and John saying, barbecue them. Y'all with me? But did not Elijah do the same thing? He did. And God honored his request and sent down fire from heaven to burn some folks up? So it was a precedence already set. That say, well, God did it for Elijah. He'll do it for us now. <laughs> if you did it before, he'll do it again. Yo, this one. I just want to talk to y'all practically today. Because God honored Elijah's request. Let me tell you about what it happened. They, they knew the scripture. Let's look at it in 2 Kings 1. That wicked king Ahab had died and his wicked son Azariah had ruled in his stead. But this is what happened to Azariah. I want y'all to read this when you get an opportunity. The Bible says that he fell through the lattice from his upper chamber mm -hmm. and he fell down and injured himself mm -hmm. and sustained a life-threatening injury. Mm -hmm. But so he sends out messages to inquire of Beelzebub, yeah. the god of Ekron, mm -hmm. to find out if he was going to die. And but so the Lord sent an angel when God got the information came from the king and the messages were sent out by King Azariah. God intercepted these men, intercepted Elijah, minding his own business and told him, you go tell the messengers to go back. Say that king, he surely is going to die. Yes, sir. And why are you sending, of course, a delegation to Ekron to find out whether you're going to live or right? He said, all right, then I'll tell you what. Go back and tell the king that yes, he is going to die. He wants to ignore the only true and living God. Yes, he is going to die. Hallelujah. And Elijah went on back up the hill and waited, minding his own business. And yes, amen. And I, he sees the men coming for him to tell him if, if they come on back and talk to the king. The king want to talk to you. And Elijah notices this group of men, this captain that has 50. Y'all yes, read it with me yes, today. Yes, he says, if I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume the captain and his 50. Yes, and the Lord honored and sent fire and burned them up. Yes, he did. And he did it again. Yes, he did. Elijah sitting down there, minding his own business. Here comes another set of 50 yes, and a captain. And the same thing happened again. Lord, if I be your servant, yes. let fire come down and burn these fellows up. Yes, and God sent fire yes, and burned up the captain and his fifty. Yes, and then you got another group that came, another captain, and I like him. Oh, yes. He has some sense. Oh, yes. He has some sense. Because he came kneeling. Yes, he said, Elijah, I already heard what happened. I'm just paraphrasing to the other two sets of fifties. But let my life and their lives be precious in your sight. Why don't you come on and come to go down here and talk to this king? Uh -huh. But he, he approached them correctly. And the angel of the Lord spoke to him and told him, you go ahead on down there with him, be okay. And the Lord protected him. But my point of the matter is, so he complied and told the king the same thing. Yes, you're going to die. And the thing came to pass and he did not recover his injury. 
long story short, as they say, be careful of what spirit you allow to access your spirit. Don't be so quick to jump on the bandwagon, so to speak, when folks talk about preachers. When folks talk about your brothers and sisters. Y'all ain't hear me today. When folks talk about, uh, talk about and besmirch and cause harm and damage to your brothers and sisters' character. Y'all with me today. Because they can do just that. They call, they call it character assassination. Watch what you say. God is watching and listening to you with your saved, sanctified, and speaking in tongues. self. Let me read the scripture in St. Luke, the, 14th, the 17th chapter. And we're going to talk about getting in out of your feelings. I'm talking about those negative feelings. All right? Y'all with me? In the 17th chapter in verse 1, Then said he unto his disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. Yes, sir. But woe unto him through whom they come. Yes, sir. It were better for him yes, that a millstone yes, were hanged about his neck, yes, and he cast into the sea, yes, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Right. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother mm -hmm. trespass against thee, mm -hmm. rebuke him. Mm -hmm. And if he repent, forgive him. Amen. And if he trespass again against thee seven times in a day, oh my God, Amen. and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. The and the apostle said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. So Lord, that's beyond my limit. That's one too many times. They've done it once and they've done it twice. I'm getting them next time. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the seed. And it should obey you. But which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him by the by and by when he is come from the field, go and sit down to, to meet. And will not rather say unto him, make ready wherewith I may sup and gird thyself and serve me till I have eaten and drunken and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he think that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I think not. The King James says, I throw or not, but I think not. So likewise, y'all have to say, so likewise, ye when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Uh -huh. Can y'all say amen? amen? The church is not a social club. Amen. We are the body of Christ. Yes. But we do have feelings. Yes. I don't know who needs to hear this. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But does God, does God care about your feelings? Yes, he does. Yes. Yes. Feelings are important to us, aren't they? But they must be managed. Amen. Help me say, I've got to learn how to manage my feelings. God made us managers, didn't he? Because we can be hurt in our feelings. We can learn to love with our feelings. But to tell the truth, you cannot be petty and do effective kingdom work in your feelings. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You can't do kingdom work because you're in the wrong spirit. You have to develop thick skin and you don't allow the offense to become a distraction from your assignment. Focus on your mission. Tell somebody, get out of your feelings. I'm talking about the wrong spirit kind of feeling. I'm, I'm talking about we need a spiritual revival. And I know that it was first began at the house of God. We got to learn how to treat one another before we can really minister to the world. But if we, y'all don't hear me this morning, can I talk this morning? But if we're going to preach the gospel, you cannot preach the gospel with an angry heart. 
You cannot be make you cannot be mad at the people and uncaring and unloving and be affected. Y'all right. with me? Right. We're drawn by love. God cares how you treat people. And I found out you got to learn how to choose your friends wisely. Watch how they treat people they think they don't need. Did y'all hear what I said? Watch how they treat people they think they don't need. Watch how they treat the waitress. Watch how they treat the bellhop. Watch how they treat the parking lot attendant. Y'all not hear me this morning. They feel they don't need it. I was in a situation, I went to what, the dinner with one of the preachers. My wife can verify the fact that he was a good anointed preacher. I said, this is a preaching machine. Went to dinner with the fella and sat down at one of our selected restaurants and he got in there and dogged that waitress out. Treated her poorly. And I was like, you just got through preaching, brother. You don't even know this girl. She could, this could be her life to hood. And you're going to dog her like this? I lost all respect for him. I don't care how anointed you are. I don't care how gifted you are. When you treat people poorly, but the moment they think that they have the upper hand, they begin to treat you differently. All right. yeah. Watch that. Watch. You have to respect the maid. Amen. You got to respect the janitor. Amen. You got to respect the garbage man. Yes. Yes. Be careful how you treat them. But you might just think you're dealing with one. You might just be dealing with one of God's little ones. Yes, and God is watching. Yes, he is. Treat people the same dignity and respect yes. that you yourself want to be treated. That's right. Just read in the scripture. I'm going to talk about it in a few moments. The old folks used to say, do unto others as you would have them to do what? Do unto you. But sometimes we don't treat folk right. And Satan tempts us to be vengeful. Yes, 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 yes. And I don't know who needs to hear this this morning. Yes, but he tempts us to be vengeful. Amen. He wants us to strike out. Yes, we are living in an era of offense. Yes. Everybody is offended. Amen. You can't say nothing about Amen. nothing to anybody. Amen. Can't say nothing about the mask. You can't say nothing about the vaccination. Whether to vaccinate or not to vaccinate. To mask or unmask. Oh my God, to go virtual or to go in person. They mad. They offended about everything. Y'all praying for me. Have you noticed everybody's on edge? It's the attitude and the spirit of this age. But just like Jesus warned his disciples, you don't know what matter of spirit you are on. It is the spirit of this age. Folk will disagree with you about anything. We get offended about what we heard and what we think we heard. But watch this. You cannot have worship, great worship, if you are mad and offended. Amen. Right. You can't get down. You can't. Y'all know what I'm saying. It affects your harmony flow. It affects your connectivity to God. You mad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's hard to break through and get your breakthrough. Get out of your field. It's the strength of the enemy Amen. that keep you disconnected. Yes. All right. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if thy brother have art against you, then you come to your, when you come to the altar uh -huh. and you want to talk to God. Mm -hmm. Say Matthew 5 and 24 says, do what? Oh. Leave your gift. Yeah. God said, I ain't even talking to you. <laughs> no need of me. You trying to talk to me. Leave your gift there at the altar. Am I in the book this morning? Yes, Go your way. Go on back home. First be reconciled to that brother. And then come and talk back to me. Talk to me somebody. Hallelujah. Then come. So you cannot just be mad and offended and thank God going to hear your prayer and your prayer in spite of your madness. Hallelujah. We got to get this thing together. We got to change the culture of this church. We got to have a spiritual revival. We cannot cover over mess. 
Hallelujah. You cannot continue because we got to stop trying to cover things up because covered wounds don't heal. Hallelujah. Covered wounds don't heal because it's got to get air. Hallelujah. But you cover it up. And we don't, we don't want to expose that. But that which not be, cannot be revealed cannot be healed. Some folk are wounded because of what we say and how we act. And we forgot they just might be one of God's baby boys. Hmm. We can and we must confront some issues without being confrontational. Y'all hear that? Amen. We got to confront some stuff. But that does not mean you got to be confrontational. Amen. We can disagree, but do not become disagreeable. Amen. Can't nobody work with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have enemies. When I said this this morning, I was coming through. I thank God for the inspiration. Hallelujah. But did you know that sometimes God uses your enemies to fertilize That's your so. dreams? That's That's so. That's That's so. That's That's so. Y'all hear me this morning? Sometimes God will use your enemies to fertilize your dreams. If you don't believe it, ask Job's. God used, hallelujah, Job's brothers to help fertilize. Yeah, hallelujah. To cause to grow. Glory to God, what God had planned for or planned for him. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but don't allow anybody to rob you of your praise. I honestly believe that Joseph yet was maintained his relationship, even though he was cast into the pit, and even though he went from the pit to the palace and the prison, Joseph maintained his praise. And I believe that even though we're talked about, even though we're ostracized, even though we're sometimes ridiculed, don't let anybody rob you of your praise. Do I have a witness? Y'all sitting real still this morning. But there come time when I'm being criticized, when I'm being put on the spot, when my name is being blasted and incorrectly about and abroad, I say, God, I thank you. I give him praise. That made me praise him more. Y'all, I y'all may have had that happen to y'all. Y'all been nice and everybody loves y'all. Amen. But the Bible says, woe unto them when all men speak well of you. But I need somebody to help fertilize my dreams. Oh, I think y'all to give God a praise right there. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We need folk to put us on the spot. We need folk sometimes to talk about us. David had a situation with Jimmy, and David was running for his life from his son Absalom. And as he was going by, here comes Jimmy. And I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name correctly or not, but I know the devil set him up and sent him out there and said, Go up, thou bloody man. You're not even worthy to be on earth. And David was king. David was retreating. So he didn't want to kill his own son. So sometimes God has a plan that we're not privy of. But God used Shimei to water and to fertilize David's dream. And David made a comeback. Y'all read the story when you get a chance. And because he had been shown kindness. God used David to show kindness to the house of Saul. I'm going to get through here in a few moments. But when you even know that Saul had died, y'all know the story that he says, there's anybody left of the household of Saul that I might show him kindness. Hey, for Jonathan's sake, because he showed me kindness when I was running for my life. When I thought God had forgot about me, God used somebody to come my way to help fertilize my dream. And he said, if there anybody left of the household of Saul, that I might show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. They thought everybody was dead. But they said, there's somebody down in Lullabar. Y'all know the story about a man from the field shepherd. But I'm going to tell you something, King. He may not be what you're looking for because he's lame on both feet. But David didn't care. He said, I need somebody to show kindness to for Jonathan's sake. So they sent for my fiddle chef. I'm going to get all my message today. Hallelujah. But I feel the Holy Ghost, my love. Because sometimes we can be too mean. We can be too caught up in our feelings. Forget about what God has promised us. He went and sent for him and brought him back and let him see.
sit at the king's table. Let him eat of the king's meat. Just because of his relationship to his uncle. Y'all say amen if you can. God will use somebody to fertilize your dream. Hallelujah. So you don't get mad and start fighting with folk. You don't try to retaliate. You don't sometimes even try to defend yourself. But I want you to know, hallelujah, that that spirit, that, that, that sometimes folk will try to tie your hands. They're going to put you in an emotional prison. But you cannot allow them. So heaven say, don't worry about it. Because the weapons of our warfare. Am I talking to anybody today? But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling back. A stronghold. I tell you to pull some strongholds back. Come on, pull them back. The pulling down a stronghold. Casting down imagination in every high thing. Just like the sons of thunder. 
We say, Lord, I really don't, it wouldn't bother me if you allow this and so and so to get fried. After all, they deserve it by the way they treated me. You know they were wrong. And you know you are wrong. Y'all with me? Doesn't matter whether you're saint or sinner, it's just wrong. You can't fight fire with fire. You can't be uh, retributive, so to speak, against somebody that have done you evil. Do not return evil for evil. Y'all hear me today? That's what Jesus told us. But we fall into the spirit of this age and we try to do folk like they've done us. And we say they deserve it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God will keep you if you want to be kept. I keep saying that I have not met anybody that I'm willing to go to hell for. Do anybody else have that testimony? Yes, I haven't met anybody that I'm willing to go to hell for. All right. You got to get it right. This is what the Bible says. It's important to me. It means that I cannot go through my Christian experience without con correcting my course. There are sometimes, saints of God, I don't care how much we pray and how much we fast sometimes, we find ourselves veering off. Yes, sir. Because we allow our feelings to get in the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Getting back in our right mind. We got to learn how to treat folk right. Stop getting in your feelings because people won't act according to your into your sadness. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me this morning. Yes, you cannot manage other people's feelings. Mm -hmm. Learn how to manage your own. <laughs> Tell somebody to learn how to manage your own feelings. <laughs> and let me let them do theirs. <laughs> you can't manage their feelings. They will get you to get you off track. Yeah. They will have you thinking that you're doing the right thing, but being you really being by being contrary, by being indifferent toward them. Mm -hmm. That's the trick of the enemy. Hallelujah. They will have you thinking that you're doing it right. But the disciple says, Lord, increase our faith. Yes, when we oppose with the question, when they're opposed with the question of how many times do they have to forgive somebody that have offended them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to face offenses. We're going to have some folk that's going to not do according as we would desire them to do. All right. So what do you do? I can say it in two words. Forgive them. Now, I know y'all didn't want to hear that part. That's all right. <laughs> y'all wanted me to go in an elaborate, you know, elaborate explanation as to why. Don't have to do that. What did the Bible say? The Bible says, when that brother offended, forgive him. And if he forget, if he repent, y'all move on. Because offenses will come. But don't get caught up in your fears. Oh, y'all don't like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. The disciples were human faith and forgiveness are interconnected. And we sometimes don't see the connection. They first, when they heard Jesus make this statement, they said, Lord, increase our faith. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Why did they put faith in this equation? Mm -hmm. Because it's interconnected with your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Let me close with this. My God. Forgiveness is neither forgetting or excusing the wrong. Mm -hmm. Acting like it never happened. All right. I've never been able to really wrap my hand around it, Mother. How do people say you forgive and you forget? You really don't forget anything. Yeah, don't forget. And I for, if I forgot that you did it, how can I rightfully forgive you? Mm -hmm. I got to uh -huh. know you did it. Uh -huh. mm. Hallelujah. I got to know without a shadow of doubt Amen. that you did it. But it's my decision to forgive you. Amen. And if I forgive you, ain't nothing you can do about it. Right. Hallelujah. And I want to continue because forgiveness, however, is making a conscious mental decision yeah. to let it go. Oh, yeah. right. To let go of the hurt. Right. To let go of the pain. Amen. And to move forward so you can be healed. Amen. It takes faith yes. to do that. Because if we're left in and by our own devices, we won't forgive nobody. My God. Because she said, you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. That's right. Hurt people. Hurt people. Amen. Say so. But the godly way, the Christian way, the words that are in red way, Jesus said this. Forget about all that other rhetoric and, and other opinions and all of these explanations uh -huh. that people, but Jesus said that if thy brother offend thee, uh -huh. forgive him. Yeah. He 
said, but Lord, he hurt my feelings. Forgive him. Lord, he lied. Forgive him. Y'all hurt me today. Failing to forgive is a powerful weapon that men, that enemy uses against us. Somehow the enemy convinces us that the hurt and pain that we have justifies the way we feel about right. or act toward the individual yes. that inflicted yes. the pain. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's true. Uh -huh. He did that. I need to act. I need to mm. deuces to him or deuces to her. But is that what Jesus said? Yo, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to just find out. I got a question. Is that what he said here? Mm. Ignoring the pain or not seeking justice is not really true forgiveness. You need to feel the pain in order for you to forgive. Y'all get real quiet on me now. Somebody in their feelings. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm just saying there's somebody that needs to hear this. Because I'm going to tell you, I got in my feelings this week. Save, sanctified, speaking in tongues. Oh, got in my feelings. I told my wife if they say another word, did not tell you. <laughs> say it one more time. <laughs> and the Lord said, now you know you are. Amen. I'm preaching every Sunday and week in and week out, staying up four and five hours praying and seeking the face of God in my feelings. Yes. Yeah. Wanted to fight this moment. <laughs> Y'all don't know. You say, I don't know, but I was in my. Yeah. Jesus says, You don't know what manner of spirit yes. you are of. Spoke to Peter, if you live by the sword. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, get out of your feelings. You gotta get out of our feelings. Uh, I charge you not to ignore the or feel to apply the word of God. That commands us to forgive and neither ignore the consequences yes. we face yes. if we do not forgive. Yes. Look what the consequences are. And I'm still preaching in the red. Amen. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your yes. trespasses. St. Matthew 6 and 16. And go right back to what Jesus said about yes. It's the blood of Jesus that washes us clean. We're standing. I want you to stand because this is the direction the Lord sent me. And I know we want to shout and do a lot of other things, but I said, God, I, I'm finding out that there are some elderly people, there are some folk that get up in age in the church and mess up and forget that they are still under this blood covenant and under the words that Jesus put out for us how to treat one another. They treat, begin to treat sometimes us indifferently. That's right. And they think that they've arrived to the point that they've been serving the Lord, Lord so long that they can say and do anything they want to say. Not with me today. I ran into some folk like that. But I'm reminded, preacher, of the old prophet in the Old Testament that God told him something to do. Y'all don't know the story. God sent him and told him to do something. And he went there and obeyed what the Lord had said. Then there was a young prophet. That came to him and said, Well, you don't have to go That's home. Right. You can come on to my house. That's right. Come on down here uh -huh. and eat with me. Uh -huh. That's not what God That's told him. To and he had been walking with God yep. all those years That's right, yeah. and messed up at the other. Yeah. Yeah. And God sent a lot. Yeah. Yes. I don't the story. Yes. And ate him up. Ate him. He never got back home yeah. because he disobeyed. He had went on all of what he had accomplished and all the way God had used him previously that he felt like he could, oh, it ain't going to hurt nothing. 
That's what I'm saying. That's what we got to be careful of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I honestly believe that there's some folk that's going to go to hell from church. Now, you're not going to hear no preachers talk like this. Because they feel like they were afraid to say what they got to say. But I'm not talking to anybody in particular. I'm saying that it is a spirit that we got to watch out for. Me and you. All of us. Help us say all of us. Got to watch out for that spirit. James and John, good people. Got another spirit. Kill them, Lord. I'm just saying. So look at somebody say, I'm just saying. So if they could be subject to the influence and the oppression that the enemy placed on them and walking directly with Jesus, they didn't know what kind of spirit they were in. So I said, God, help me to be careful. Because I was in my feelings. Hallelujah. Father, here we are today. God, I realize that you're on our side. I know you're with us. And your word is true. Help us to get back to our spiritual roots, yes. the things that made us strong, things by which you commanded us. This is our duty to do. You said in your word, it's our duty to obey your commandments. We're under a blood covenant. And God, it is our intention to do all that you told us to do. Even though sometimes it's hurt, even though sometimes it's unpopular. Even though sometimes we have to seem as if we're we're being uh, uh, intimidated yeah. by the thing that the enemy has placed our way, but God, we know that it's just a fertilizer. Yeah. It's just getting us to our destiny. It's causing us to refocus and to rededicate ourselves yeah. and to realize that we are not above the law. And you've already given us a commandment to follow. God, I'm asking you today. God, forgive us. Yeah. 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 Lord, yeah. give us for our shortcomings. Yeah. Yeah. Give us for our iniquities. You saved us. You washed us. You cleaned us up. You did a shundo in our lives. We should never forget. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to never forget what you've done for us. Help us, Lord, to never forget how you set us free. Help us, Lord, to not to forget you brought us out and we'll give you the praise God give them the strength give them the courage give them the God the intestinal fortitude that they need to press their way forward to forgive the unforgivable to, to, to look at those persons that are not saved that you would save the unsaved that you would deliver the undelivered that you would set the captive free in the name of Jesus let the anointing of the Holy Ghost be upon us God help us to endure until the end Help us not to relent and help us not to give up down the ramp, down the track. But God, help us to hold the standard of holiness. Help us to hold the standard of righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, help us to get out of our feelings. Those negative inclinations. That negative proclivity. God, to do the wrong thing. To go against the grain. To do as the enemy has that dictated to us to do. We come against that spirit now. Come against that spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. We want to do your will. Hallelujah. We're yours, Lord. All that we are. God, we're yours. Have your way in our lives. And we be so thankful, oh God. And so grateful. To give your name the praise. These and all the rest that we ask in Jesus' name and for his sake. And we say thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have not had priests that cannot be touched.